things are going in the garden and to start i just wanted to tell you that for this summer series um part 13 uh, we're gonna, well, i'm gonna be talking to you about how the eggplants are doing so right now i have eight and then i just added another six eggplants to the garden and like i was saying these eggplants these particular ones that are growing and producing right now um were here from last year um so let's get a little bit closer it looks like they are really covered in blooms and even some of them have some eggplants so i think i see one on this one that's actually going to either turn into a flower or turn into um an eggplant itself but i'm not sure and it's right there right there so and uh there's another one right there oh i harvested a few tomatoes so i'm gonna add those to my salad um here is another eggplant it has what looks like a couple of blooms one here um, I think this is actually going to be an eggplant. This is an eggplant right there that's coming. This is a bloom and yeah, there's an eggplant right there. And I think this is turning into an eggplant. And on here, on this one, there are actually several eggplants already on here and some blooms that are coming. So yeah, there's some there's a bloom there, there's a bloom there, and here. Um, so these are actually doing very well. Um, this is one of the plants that I actually need to be having a lot of right now because they seem to be loving this heat. Um, so from the plants that I just brought in this year, this is one of them and it actually got to a point where it looked like it was dying and um, I just watered it really good, just soaked it real, real good. And it looked like it had a, and cut some of the leaves off of it. And it looked like the life had actually came back into it. So as you can see now, it looks very healthy. There's a couple of leaves that I might have to cut off of it, but look at all the blooms, look at all the flowers that are on it. So I'm hoping to get some eggplant from this really, really soon. Um, I just brought these in this year too. So I might need to probably, um, there's been moments with these two, it's two in one pot, but there's been moments when these with these two where they got really, really high and hot in the heat and dry. Um, and it looked like they weren't gonna make it, but I soaked them down really good. Um, and I do that probably once or twice a week. And it looks like they have bounced back to life. So. Um, I know I did a premiere and I was talking about how some of the plants that I, I have out here look like they were dying, but if um, they usually do that in response to the heat. And because it has been so hot here in Hennett, um, in my zone, California, zone 9B, um, when it's this hot, um, in the hundreds and some sometimes a little well 90s hundreds and then 106 i think was the hottest it's gotten in just july alone um sometimes the leaves look like they're dead or dying but then once the heat is not so heavy on them because i can't cover everything i don't have enough shade cloth to cover up everything um these are actually in a place where it's shaded so that's good for them but look these are the newest plants because i was like well if the eggplants are doing good then i need to bring in more eggplants so this is the newest eggplant um family members and i'm hoping they are actually they were out here the first day or two and they actually looked like they weren't gonna be making it but i can already i sucked them down i think it was yesterday and i already see a bloom coming right there on this one um, and I like to pick out when you go to the store and you pick out the um, seedlings or the seed starts I like to look in the pot and sometimes you can find some of the pots 
um, that have two or three in them. And so with this one, this has three. So I'm gonna um, repot re these. And this one has three in it. Or let me see, that was two. So I'm really happy about what's going on or what's growing on with the eggplants. And you know, I might, since, it, since they are doing very well, I might go ahead and grab some more when I go to Walmart. Um, and that way, for the summertime, I'll be harvesting um, a few cherry tomatoes that are doing well as the weather has cooled. And then um, pretty soon I'll be harvesting some peaches um, because they look like they're about ready. Um, and then, but throughout the summer uh, in the heat, like I said to you before in a previous video, I am doing my best to stick with things that love this hot, 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 hot weather. Um, yeah, so, and I advise you to do the same. Like I said, once again, I've been talking to people who are growing in my area and they, and I'm asking them what actually is working for this hot, humid um, weather. So, Thank you so much for watching everybody. I appreciate you guys for watching my videos. I'm always gonna tell you that because just the fact that um, I'm celebrating having over 6,000 subscribers is amazing. And I appreciate all of you. I appreciate all of you for watching, commenting and liking, but not only that, sharing my videos. I appreciate all of it. So grow with love everybody and make sure that you are staying safe it's hot out here. Make sure that you are wearing the proper gear in this hot weather because you could be laid out um, in this hot. You could be overheated um, while you're gardening. So make sure you have a hat, some sunscreen, um, and gloves in the garden. Um, and make sure you got a bottle of water to stay hydrated. Um, that's gonna do it for today. Grow with love, everybody. And have an amazing summer. And I've been watching all of you guys with those crops and harvests and everything. And sometimes I just have to remind myself that I'm in Hemet. My, my um, growing season is a little bit longer than yours if you're on the East Coast or in a climate or a zone that um, is, has a short growing period. So I have to be mindful. And um, when I say mindful, I have to mind my own zone instead of, um, and just watch how you guys are growing things, but not necessarily watch when you guys are growing things because I have my own time. So I'm minding my own zone when I do that and it'll make for a better successful growing period so have a good day everybody happy monday